Hello, I'm Laura Guerrero, and I'm here today to talk with ESG Lab Analyst Mike Leone about a recently completed ESG Lab review on NetApp On Command Insight 7. Mike, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So let's start with a little background. In terms of management and data growth, what kinds of problems are you seeing in today's data centers? Well, Laura, organizations are constantly being asked to do more with less, whether it be budget, manpower, or hardware. And it's a challenging ask. Data keeps growing, and with that comes the complexity of managing it. And there's really not an easy way to manage and monitor all of it, especially in some of these larger IT environments that have a mix of server, network, and storage solutions from multiple vendors. Makes sense. Now, tell me about how NetApp is helping solve that problem. Sure. We recently completed an ESG lab review on NetApp On Command Insight 7, which is software designed to help manage the complexities of a dynamically changing IT infrastructure, specifically around operations, cost management, and service quality. You can use the software to manage and analyze physical and virtual IT environments with heterogeneous server, network, and storage solutions across the domain for multiple vendors. There's also a data warehouse that's used for federated reporting of globally distributed virtualized and cloud infrastructures. Insight collects an enormous amount of data that's stored in a data warehouse where advanced big data analytics are used to facilitate troubleshooting, performance analysis, and capacity and change management. We started our testing with an introduction to the new HTML5 user interface, which was sleek and responsive. The mobility was immediately apparent with IT being able to easily manage the infrastructure from anywhere on any device. We also went through the steps of adding a new resource, which only took a few mouse clicks. Inventory and performance metrics from the new device were quickly available to the data warehouse for real-time monitoring. Now, Mike, you mentioned something about performance metrics, and I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Did you get a chance to look at some of the real-time performance monitoring? Great question, and yes, we did. This is where we saw the advanced big data analytics in action. In this release of Insight, NetApp has added a Cassandra database to help handle the constantly growing data sets with high rates of change of each resource in the IT environment. We used the powerful analytics to show how easy an IT admin could do root cause analysis when a performance problem presented itself. We identified a latency spike in one VM and followed the resource path to the underlying storage node that showed a correlating performance spike. Then we traced it back to another VM causing the problem. The Cassandra backend was pretty impressive. The massive amounts of data were instantly accessible. We were able to quickly manipulate it throughout the root cause analysis. That is impressive. Now, there was something else you mentioned in the beginning about service quality. Could you walk us through that a little bit more? Definitely. On Command Insight 7 uses something called global service policies, where IT can easily view host to storage access paths and manage requirements based on application, host, or path. These customized service policies can be identified as being vulnerable or violated, and root cause analysis can be quickly done to resolve issues before they impact the business. This was another area where the new big data analytics came into play. Insight allows organizations to go through what-if scenarios by helping to model and validate changes to ensure successful infrastructure implementations. And this was something that we thought was pretty cool. Once a change had been made, IT could monitor performance and the change event would show up on the performance charts at the time when it happened. With all these management features, I'm curious, did you cover anything about chargeback or capacity reclamation? This is the last area we covered. Insight allows IT to provide custom cost grouping parameters like tenant or application, and then report on how that entity is using its allocated resources. Through this trending feature, chargeback reports can be created based on the defined business entities to show things like how much storage is being provisioned for that entity, how much is actually being used, and, and how much it costs. And this ties right into storage capacity reclamation. Insight can identify that underutilized storage or orphan capacity and reclaim it. This orphan capacity can then be reintroduced to storage pools or reallocated to other volumes by shrinking or growing volumes based on the performance metrics like response time or throughput. This is really interesting technology, but let's take a step back for a minute. At a higher level, what's the business value of it all? Or in ESG terminology, why does this matter to the business? On Command Insight 7 combines ease of management and advanced big data analytics into a scalable, flexible solution that can help IT take control of a growing, heterogeneous storage environment. With the new HTML5-based user interface, organizations can easily manage and monitor a multi-vendor environment made up of different server, network, and storage resources. With the Cassandra database management engine, root cause analysis of complex performance problems is made significantly easier. And finally, the cross-domain intelligence and transparency of On Command Insight offers a great way to monitor business units, tenants, and applications to help justify business purchasing decisions based on actual usage. So if your organization is looking for a way to easily manage operations, cost, and service quality, we recommend checking out the latest version of NetApp On Command Insight. 
a lightweight management platform with real-time advanced big data analytics for dynamically changing heterogeneous storage environments. Thanks so much for your time again, Mike. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESG Lab Validation Report from ESG's website.